guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing the third and hopefully final part of my lip products declutter. This has been a crazy ride. I have way too many and we got to get rid of more of these things. We just got to pass them on and let them go. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell to be notified of more videos. And if you have not already seen my other declutter videos, I will leave that playlist link down below for you. So let's just get into it because it's going to be another long one and we got we to gotta pick up the pace. Okay, in my second declutter, you would have seen me start off with my Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipsticks because that is like my favorite lipstick formula. So I saw the colors that I had in that and was like, well, if I have a similar color in another brand, I really don't need both. So I am kind of going off of that. If there are some here that are just like too similar to the Kat Von D, then they're probably going to go. But let's just... Let's just do this. Let's get into some more lipsticks. Okay, some lipsticks that I absolutely love are these Estee Lauder Pure Color lipsticks. Estee Lauder is not cruelty free, so I will not be purchasing any more from them, but I do love these lipsticks so much. They're some of my first. They're some of my first and they're just so good, but let's go through and let's see here. This one is in 60 Fuchsia Fever. Oh, that's so pretty. They're just so creamy and so pigmented. They're just mm, keeping that one. Then another one I know I'm keeping is Melon. This is one of my favorite, just favorite lipsticks of all time absolutely beautiful there then another one I know I love is this solar crush one it is just oh my goodness I die for that color every time and the smell I love the smell of Estee Lauder lipsticks then we have this one in 15 lavish pink let's see here how is this one I mean, it's pretty, but it's a little bit like sheer. And then I have these two reds. I have Extravagant Red and Fireball. And I have gotten a lot of use out of these, but I'm just not a huge red person anymore. And I kept some Kat Von D ones. So Fireball is going to go. And then we have Extravagant Red, which I have gotten so much use out of. This is probably my most, like, used lipsticks it is just such a pretty beautiful but it's probably way too old and that one's gonna go so getting rid of two keeping three and we're gonna think about one okay I've got this collection from lipstick queen these are the um, all that jazz lipstick collection there are four colors and they were just this cool fun jazz thing this one is in cool gin and I know I'm keeping this one because this one is perfect anytime I am cosplaying as Jareth from Labyrinth because he kind of has that glossy nude lip so that one I am keeping and then we have hot hot piano I can speak and this is just it's a red but it's this like deep metallicized red I love that metallic lip look and these are just the formula on these is amazing and then we have whoopee spot <laughs> whoopee and it's mm, purple you know I love my purple lipsticks it's just so pretty sorry for the awkward angle here but it's just so pretty and then last but not least, we have uh, Paint the Town, which is another, it's red, but it's much more of like a, a mahogany rust color. That's it right there. So pretty. Love the formula on these. Love the metallicized look. Keeping all four of those. Let's actually just go through all my lipstick queen. Let's see here. I have these metal ones. This is nude metal. Kind of in the same vein as that other one. No, this one's a bit more peachy. 
That's it right there. I just love these and the formula of these. So I'm keeping nude metal, red metal. This one I have used a lot. Like if I ever do a red, whoo, we go for that one right there. Heavens. And then wine metal. Ugh. This is such an amazing, gothy, vampy color. And the formula is so beautiful. They're like really lightweight, but they pack this huge punch. So I'm keeping those three. I feel so bad. I need to get rid of something. Okay, now I've got these two ones from the Bete Noir collection, which was just a purple collection. Uh, these were super expensive. They were like $45 each. This is the Possessed Intense color, and it's just this like red based purple. I love that color. Very 70s and grunge. So I'm keeping that one. And then we have Possessed Metal. Oh my goodness. If you guys are seeing a theme here with the metallicized lipsticks, then yes, it's just straight up a theme. Just so pretty. Keeping those. And then I have this other one from Lipstick Queen. This is the Rust Sinner lipstick just looks like that it's a red i don't know why i have it i guess it's kind of like a a brown based red but i'm not completely in love that one is gonna go and then last from lipstick queen i have these two what are these the silver screen lipsticks and these were disgustingly expensive if you saw my most expensive makeup these were 50 freaking dollars but this one is called let them eat cake i love anything to do with marie antoinette and it's just this beautiful like pinky just oh my goodness it is so pretty it is that one right there i just i love it and then this one is called stella once again that metallicized purple and of all my metallicized purple, this one is the best. If you're looking for a really good pigmented metallic purple, I would recommend just biting the bullet and buying this because it's just, it's just so good. I've got this Lorac Alter Ego Lipstick. Oh, sorry. Highly Pigmented Cream Lipstick in Jet Setter. Looks like that. Eh, it's pretty, but it's not, you know, like blowing me away. That's it right there. So I'm going to let that one go. And then what else have we got here? I have two lipsticks from MAC. I have <sighs> Matte Royal, which it screams me. It is my aesthetic. It is what I live for. I don't purchase anything anymore from Mac, but I am going to hold on to this one just kind of just because. And then I have this Cream Sheen Naked Proof. I don't ever remember. This must have been a present or something like that because this does not look like a color I would buy for myself, nor does it look like a... Eh? 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 No. No. It's going to go. It's gonna go okay. All right, a bunch of lipsticks I am going to be getting rid of, not going through, just because I know I am just getting rid of them. And these are all of my Maybelline lipsticks. Maybelline is not cruelty free. I am trying to get rid of anything that's not cruelty free, that doesn't have a huge amount of like crazy sentimental value or something like that because some things that are not cruelty free that I'm keeping I won't necessarily use on camera so all of these are going to go and that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 Maybelline lipsticks. Oh wait, I have more. Make that 41 Maybelline lipsticks I am getting rid of. Obviously, the addiction is real, but none of these colors are like, yes, you don't have anything like me in your entire collection. I'm like, okay, you're going to go. You're just going to go. So 
all the Maybelline lipsticks are gonna go bye-bye. Okay, I've got a bunch here from Too Faced. Let's see here. A couple that I know for a fact I'm going to be keeping just because I love them and use them a lot. Where are they? Ooh, got them. Okay, so the first three that just straight up come to my mind is very obviously Unicorn Tears. I love this lipstick. It's like blue, but then it goes on like shiny bright pink. It is just so pretty and such a unique color. I love it. And then also Mean Girls. Can we just, the name, I mean, come on. That's the main reason I bought this is this gorgeous shimmery hot pink i use this one a lot so pretty and then clueless once again let's let's go back to the 90s it is this just beautiful like i actually love wearing this one and then the unicorn tears over top of it because it makes that pink just really pop oh so pretty keeping those for sure now let's go through the other ones that i have here i've got lollipop which ooh, that's really pretty what does that one look like uh it's pretty it's a little bit sheer let me try yeah it's a little bit sheer i think that one is gonna go bye bye then I have Bon Bon, which is just this gorgeous, like, straight up coral shade here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. Keeping that one. Then we have Wham. Oh, I should have pulled this one out. I know I use this one a lot, too. It is just this, ugh, ugh, the metallicized is just real with this one. Keeping Wham. And then we have Marshmallow Bunny. Uh, the name's cute, but that doesn't look like it's going to be like super. Oh my goodness. That is so sheer. Oh, like right there. That is so friggin' sheer. Nope, nope, nope. Marshmallow Bunny is going to go. I didn't think I was going to get rid of any of these. And then Ursula. Yes, Ursula. I love it is, once again, that I mean, Ursula, I mean, it's totally like friggin' sea witch color. Let's just, oh, it's just, mm. <laughs> keeping that one. So I am keeping these ones. Let's see here. This is one, two, three, four, five, and I'm getting rid of three. That's a lot more than I thought. I'm doing good. Okay, another whole bunch of lipsticks that I know I'm getting rid of. I feel so bad for doing this, but they're just brands that I'm not going to be purchasing from anymore. And that is CoverGirl, who is also not cruelty-free. You would have seen in my last one, I got rid of my L'Oreal and another, another brand that just wasn't cruelty-free. So I have got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... I don't know. I've got the L'Oreal Cover Girl, and they are going bye-bye. Okay, now I have these ones from Hard Candy, and a lot of the shades look kind of similar to some things I've already kept, so let's just go through. This is in Skies of the Limit, very much up my alley. Ooh actually really pigmented okay we're gonna keep that one because I like I like having me some pale blue then we've got sly lack Ooh, that's up my alley too <laughs> oh, we got the oh that's really pretty these are really pretty good I think they're like five dollars at Walmart so okay keeping sly lack then we have chalk and pink i'm pretty sure i'm going to keep this one because i remember this one was pretty bomb when i used it yeah yeah i like that one we're gonna be we're gonna be keeping that one and then i have this one in black diamond shine bright like a black diamond okay the that's actually really pigmented. Oh, okay. All right. 
I will be keeping Black Diamond. <laughs> and then we've got Newly Buried. Eh. This one doesn't look very, no. Looks like some other colors. Looks very similar to that Lorac one that I got rid of. So that one's going to go. And then I have this one in Night Queen. Oh, it's this beautiful metallic blue. It's just so hard to get really nice pigmented colors at the drugstore or just even just straight up. Going to be keeping Night Queen. And then I also have Jealousy, which, okay, I remember I'm keeping this one, at least just for now, because I wanted to do, to see if it was a dupe for Kat Von D's um, Plan 9 lipstick, so I'll just give you a swatch anyway, it's just that metallic green, keeping it, and then we also have Sunshine, which I kept my Lime Crime New York City, so... Yeah, my New York City one is much more pigmented and creamy and smooth and not as patchy. So that one we are getting rid of. We're getting down to it, people. We're getting down to it. Okay, here I've just got some like random stragglers. I have some of these Makeup Forever. This one is in number 50. Oh, yeah, it's just straight up black because... I love me some black lipsticks and this one is very smooth and creamy and I like having a bunch of different ones to sort of, I don't know, try. And then, so keeping that one. And then I've got number 17. This looks kind of like a metallic running out of swatch space. Okay, it's pretty, but looks very similar to one of the ones from NYX I kept. So we're going to say goodbye to Makeup Forever number 17. And then I have three of these freaking Rouge Volupt Shine friggity fracking things from YSL. These were supposed to like change your life. And I'm just, <sighs> let's see here. Let's see if we can do it here. I mean, they're pretty and they're hydrating, but they're just more of like a glossy balm. And I mean, the packaging is to die for, don't get me wrong, but why should I be keeping it for the packaging if I'm not going to wear it? This is number five. That was number 19. Oh my heavens. It's just, they're okay. I mean... They're not the end-all, be-all lipstick, in my opinion. This is number six, and you pay like $35 for $35. Just, mm, I can't believe I'm saying this, but these are going to go. I've kept them in my collection for so long, but whew, they're just going to go. Oh, that one kind of hurt. All right, let's go through some Milani. Like any beauty whatever person, I was all about the Milani lipsticks. Okay, this one I know I'm keeping. It was a limited edition one. I don't think it even, does it even have the name on it? Number 47. But it is just this beautiful, like completely saturated color, like this like bronzy, like this bronzy rose gold and i love the smell of milani lipstick so keeping that one then we have number 31 bronze uh, I just did the... okay so that just happened but this is 31 bronze beauty and it looks exactly the same Okay, we're going to get rid of Bronze Beauty and keep that 37 one. We have 38 Double Espresso, which is this like beautiful, totally 90s brown grungy color. Keeping that one. Then we've got Violet Volt. This is one of my favorite, favorite purple lipsticks. It is just, ugh, it is so so good. This is such an awkward angle. I feel so bad because I'm running out of swatch space. Ah! 
keeping that one. Then we've got this one in Brandy Berry. Looks really pretty. Let's see. Okay, where do we? We're swatching over on like, like out of this side, I guess. Okay, that's pretty, but that looks very similar to a Kat Von D one I kept. So that one is gonna go. Then we've got Empress here. Looks really pretty. Once again, very similar to a Kat Von D one I kept. So that one's gonna go. Then we have Uptown Mauve. Marvelous. Eh, not doing anything for me. This one is in Matte Fearless. That's actually really pretty, but no, no, we're not, we're not, we're not holding on. We're not holding on. Then, oh my goodness, this is one of the first ones I ever got. This is 52 Coral Addict. Oh, uh, but it's probably really, yeah, I've got like the Halo and Solo from Kat Von D. So I'm like, do I really need these ones? No, that one's gonna go. Then I have this Pink Frost, which looks a lot like that Estee Lauder lipstick I had. Ooh. But it's way more pigmented than the Estee Lauder one. Okay, I'm going to be keeping the Pink Frost from Milani and getting rid of that pink one from Estee Lauder. Okay, I've got number three, Orange Gina. Ooh, running out of space. Ooh, that's really pretty. And I do like having non higher end things available too because you don't just want to be talking about expensive things all the dang time keeping that one and then we've got Dior. oh i love me some crazy gold freaking lipstick let's just yes 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 then i've got matte glam here oh my goodness we we're just running out of space love that keeping it and then last but not least, we have got Violet Vault, which, did I already do this one? I think I already did. Yeah, keeping Violet Vault. And then we're gonna end on a good note, another collection of lipsticks that I know I'm going to be getting rid of, not because they're not good or because they're not cruelty free. I actually don't know if they're not cruelty free, but these are the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker lipsticks and they look really nice, but I just have too many and they're very basic colors that I don't don't really excite me. So we are getting rid of eight of the Soap and Glory lipsticks. Okay, I just did the tally and I am keeping 38 and getting rid of 74. Okay, that one was definitely a lot more effective, partly because I was just getting rid of some brands, just not even bothering to swatch or anything. I knew I didn't want to have them in my collection. So, whew, thank you guys for staying for that. Next thing is highlighters, which I know is gonna be super hard, but definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and as always, keep it real. Mwah.